hotties welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing my sister's makeup and yeah so if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe like and share the video with your friends and family so let's dive straight into the video so i already applied it to pond's moisturizer so now i'm using the sasha matte translucent powder on her face i'm setting it in the t-zone area because her skin is very oily and that helps in absorbing some of the oil in the face so now I'm using the Iconic London um, Prep Set and Glow Spray. Now this spray is really, really good. I got this in the last boxy charm. And for when you're using a lot of matte products, this really helps in giving your face a little glowy look. Not over glowy, but it gives it this nice glow. And it allows your foundation to set absolutely perfect and flawless. So now I'm using the CoverGirl foundation. And you see here I'm just using my finger. To the back from the back of my hand which i had applied to kind of warm up the products first and um now i'm applying it on the face and now you see me kind of patting it down with my studio pro blending sponge i love this sponge i would have shown you guys this in my last um pennywise haul so yeah so you get a pattern pattern so you don't you don't you're not pressing hard on the face you're taking your time and you more or less pressing the product into the skin ever so lightly so now I'm using the CoverGirl Concealer. I love this concealer. This is a buildable and really nice concealer. However, you got to move fast when you apply it on your face because it dries down really quickly. Even though you're using a damp blending sponge and it has dried down way too quickly, it tends to not um, press out properly. So it doesn't um, press out well when you take too long. So you want it to set properly into the skin. So yeah, you have to... Really move a little faster when you're um, blending out this concealer. So I would have applied the foundation and the concealer with a damp blending sponge. This is always recommended when you're doing this. And you see me here patting, patting ever so lightly to get the foundation to blend out perfectly into the skin. You're not pressing too hard because it, it tends to leave patches when you press too hard to blend out the concealer. So you're tapping it into place using the blending sponge the damp sponge and you you gently tap it and blend it into the skin and that works really perfectly so um i kind of cut out the part where i would have used the fenty loose powder and i used it in nutmeg i love this powder it really sets the concealer really 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 good so you have to really get a powder that allows your concealer to set properly and the fenty loose powder works perfect for that purpose it doesn't crack it doesn't have the, the skin dry it just looks so perfect and on top of that i'm now using the sasha buttercup powder i love using this powder on top of the nutmeg because for me i want under the eyes brighten up a little bit more and with this this agrees to her skin she has really yellow undertones in her skin and using the elf whitey and the eye powder would not have worked well with her so i had to use the sasha buttercup powder as it already highlighted the skin perfectly and it matches well with everything i don't want under the eye looking white 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 and everywhere else looking crazy so i would have carved out her face on the jawline using the sasha matte translucent powder again so i i did the jawline this way because um she has a nice little circle face and to get the jaw a little pop uh that's why you would see um well, I carve the face out with the matte translucent powder that way to give the face a little more definition. And now I'm doing the brow with the LA Girl Pomade. And um, her brows are already micro beaded, so it makes it really easy for me to really highlight or carve out the brow. I don't have to do much work because, yeah. What I'm doing now is just adding some length to the brow. So I'm coming down a little um down to the nose area with it yeah and you see me chatting away with her there so the ellie girl um pomade really looks natural i like using that and it's affordable the anastasia of beverly hills pomade works well too but yeah i like using this especially when i'm testing out my skills on on my family and my sisters and my friends so now i'm highlighting under the brow and I'm using the same color, cover girl concealer. I love using that under the brow because of the consistency of it. And it's easy to blend out. It doesn't cake up and look crazy. And I would have used the Ellie Girl 
um, concealer as well on the lids, the eyelids to prepare for the eyeshadow application. So now I'm using the uh, Morphe 35M palette and I'm using brown in it to put on the eyelids to the corner to give it a little definition. So I'm blending in circular and patting motions. And yeah, because I want that powder to the eyeshadow to blend out properly. So now I'm using a sort of charcoal type, maybe charcoal, a, a, a brown shimmer in the um, 35M palette. So yeah, I'm going for like a kinda Nigerian type look and then I'm using a white color by the um, tear duct. There I'm applying the Kiss Wispies Lashes on her eyes yeah can i skip it for a quick because you know so you see look has already started to come together really nicely i'm just adding a little bit more shimmer on the eye because i wanted the shimmer to pop a little bit more so you um usually to get the shimmers to pop um you can either use your finger to apply or you wet your brush with whatever setting spray you have and then you dip it into the shimmer and apply it to the eye and that way it pops and it applies very easy. So now I'm using my $20 mascara. I would have picked up in my last Pennywise and Wonderful Wool haul at Wonderful World. And I love this mascara. It's not clumpy. It doesn't have the eye um, lashes looking all crazy. And stuck together. It's really, really nice. So there I'm applying the mascara to the lower lash and the upper lash. To kind of um, the upper lash to help merge the natural eye lashes to the wispies yeah right and now i'm dusting away some of the buttercup powder under the eye and the matte translucent powder that's on along her jawline now we're going to contour and i'm using from the the james charles palette the browns in the James Charles palette to contour on her jawline and her forehead. I have the LA Girl contour palette, but for some strange reason, I just don't like how that color looks. It looks like really weird. And the BH Cosmetics as well, it doesn't blend in. I find the contour colors are not blending in well to the skin. It just looks like a contour just sitting on top of the face. Now, when I use the bronze and the James Charles palette, I find it blends in so perfect. It looks natural. And that's the kind of um, look I wanted for the face. Um, for the contour to look as natural as possible and not just to sit on the face there I could have used a bronzer But uh, for some strange reason I don't like how bronzers look either because I have the Fenty bronzer and I, I just don't look like how it looks um, Also from the Jean Charles palette I would have put used just a little bit of the blush um, Well the kind of burgundy-ish color from the palette has blush and the shimmery palette the shimmery color which is which are the colors in the center of the palette um, as a highlight for her cheekbone, nose, and above the lip. So now I'm using the Sasha's Lippy. And I think this is Rev It Up. I think. Yes, yes, it's Rev It Up. So I'm using the Rev It Up on her lip. And then I'm going in with a pinky color from the Beach Cosmetics Royalty Affair um, Duo. Let me duo. Well, it's like five different lippies in that set. So I'm using the more light pink color yeah and this is the final look so I'm going to set the makeup again I'm using the Maybelline set uh, is that set prep powder um, spray I can't remember you know, but I think it is and I also use the iconic London to give the face a little glow again so I'll probably edit all that part so now I'm fixing up the hair and yeah finishing up the look so yeah your girl is doing her thing Brush, brush, brush. Oh, go on. What? Why are you being so rough and pulling your hair? <laughs> oh, God. I had to work on being a little more um, gentle. <laughs> so now I'm fixing the hair. And um, yeah, I'm going to make you guys see the final look in a bit. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Brush, brush, brush. And fix, fix, fix. Oh, my Lord. I'm like real rough. And she just sitting there normal, normal, and ain't saying nothing. <laughs> We're just going to continue with the brushing. Okay. 
Yes, so now I am good up. So now we are just styling the hair. And um, in general, it looks pretty. She already feeling the look. <laughs> so I'm using the Got To Be Spray, Freezing Spray, because I'm just trying to get the hair to just, you know, give it a little bit more volume and for it to pop. She had the phone all up in it. <laughs> So guys, you're getting to see the final look, and this right here is just the final touches I would have done in the hair, and it's going to take you into her final look. I like how the look came out. She looks so pretty, so gorgeous, and you can see she's feeling herself like, yeah, I look so nice. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I'm just going to show you the final look and insert a pic from what was taken. So thank you so much for joining me and for watching the video. Uh, don't forget if you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, like, give me a thumbs up. Ask me any question you want to ask in the comment section. And yeah, I'm going to meet you guys in the next one. And um, yeah, uh, out. Bye guys. Jimmy on a beat, boy.